Okay, folks, here we go. This is my uh, waste oil to diesel fuel system right here. This is the whole deal right here. Okay, uh, so I've got my 100 micron filter down to, I think, a 5, five micron filter. I do have uh, 1 micron, but that's what I'm using now. I got my waste oil, raw waste oil, from the uh, uh, auto repair shop. I pumped it out. Um, and I take my transfer pump here. It's nothing more than a gear pump. Quarter horse motor, oil burner coupler to a gear pump, a simple gear pump that I happen to have. Uh, some hose adapters and I use some washing machine hoses uh, to do the work. I take um, uh, right over here, I've got a 36 gallon steel drum. I take it to the fuel gas station, fuel up on 15 gallons of fuel, and I bring it back here. I muscle it off my truck and roll it into the corner here. Um, I take 15 gallons of oil here, there's graduations on the tank, so I know where I'm at. And I pump in 15 gallons direct into there through these bag filters. So I put one right inside the other, uh, 100 micron down to 5 micron. Uh, and I fill that up. So then I take this setup as it is, as you see it right now. The blue hose is suction, goes in. The silver hose is uh, out to an oil manifold here with a bypass that goes, the red hose goes right back to the tank. Now I have this uh, pressure relief valve in a gauge. So uh, here, I'm going to get it started here so we can run it and you can see what's going on. So plugging it in, it's my messy uh, toolbox. So now pump is running, uh, I got no pressure. So what happens is the oil's coming up here and just going back to the tank. It's just rat racing. There's a spring in here that doesn't uh, open up until about 70 pounds or so, I guess. So now as I close this, of course, the pressure starts to rise with a safety valve that will pop, I think, at around a 110. Now it's, you can see down here, there's oil starting to trickle through. You can see it a little bit. Um, and I don't know how well you can hear it, but there's 70, 80 pounds, 85 pounds. As this thing speeds up, it starts to spin. This is where I got it from, Bio, Biodiesel Supply, about 150 bucks plus shipping. Uh, so I ran this for about four hours. This is actually a toilet flange, a piece of steel. I got it bolted to the piece of steel, two, and then screwed to the toilet flange with silicone, RTV silicone. Some three by two reducer, some inch and a half pipe, threaded to uh, back to the tank through some barbed fittings. I don't even have clamps on it, it doesn't leak. Um, and then I run it for about four hours. Okay, it's still actually uh, winding up. Maybe it's just barely up to speed. I got 70 pounds of pressure, things cranking away, and I run it like that for four hours. Uh, every two hours I'll take it apart. One thing I didn't mention is I do put diesel additive to it to help out in whatever might be a problem. Okay, so that's about it. Unplugging it. You hear it winding down. The thing's spinning about seven or 8,000 RPMs. Uh, I guess it's closer to eight. Um, and that's it, I run that for about four hours. The first batch I did ran for two hours, second batch four hours. This batch I've got about six hours on it. What do I get out of it, you ask? Crud. This is after, this is the crud I clean out of it. See that grime? That, that, I'm pulling that out of the uh, oil, out of the waste oil. Now the filter on the truck, I'm told, is good for 10 microns. I'm told that this cleans it to a half a micron. Um, and that's my story. I just keep track of my little receipts. I've got three receipts so far, 15 gallons each, at about a little over 60 bucks a whack. I double my fuel each time. So I'm up to about 190 bucks saved. Uh, the, this backboard that the thing is on, I actually got this out of the dump. It's got four wheels on it. It's actually on wheels. I put some wood on it, screwed some plywood to it, painted it, and uh, made it purdy. So that's it. Enjoy.